Today, I'm gonna to show you how your plumbing system works. And he's gonna help. This is where it all starts. Pressurized water from the city comes to your property at a meter, then travels underground into your house. Keep going. Three kinds of pipe are used for domestic plumbing. Copper pipes, PEX, or this, Flogar Gold CPVC. Since nobody likes cold showers, the first stop your water makes is the water heater. Here the system splits into hot and cold lines. From there the line runs everywhere water is needed, and to the second floor via the main riser. But you don't need to see the risers. It's just a fancy term for where the lines go up. Inside the house we use water for all kinds of things like washing, laundry, using the bathroom. And when you use water, an important transition takes place. Your plumbing is actually two systems in one. The pressurized system that brings water into the house and the drain waste and vent system that transfers gray water and wastewater into the sewer or septic system. Anyone that's used a garden hose understands the pressure side of this equation, but your DWV system is hidden, so it's harder to understand. So let's take a look behind the walls. No. A DWV system pipe can be ABS, PVC, or cast iron, or a mixture of all three. But whatever pipe is used, every piece of correctly installed DWV pipe in the world slopes downhill, usually one inch for every four feet of travel. This is the main stack that goes directly to your sewer line and vents somewhere on your roof. It looks like this. This is important for two reasons. You certainly don't want sewer gases to build up in your home, but you also want your drains to work properly. Without a vent, water can't escape easily. Take this jug. With a vent, come on, we don't have time for this. But there's another problem that venting solves. You've seen pea traps. The water caught in the bottom of these traps prevents gas and odors from coming back into your house from the sewers. But every pea trap requires its own vent, so that someone flushing the toilet upstairs wouldn't cause pressure to blow through the pea trap. If all that is a little complicated, just know, without proper venting, things would look like this. That's your plumbing system, a minor miracle of modern civilization. Thanks for watching.